Well, Finn Russell, good to see you. Uh, well, looking happy enough in Paris, uh, locked down, of course. How's life for you at the moment? Ah, it's been fine. Um, different, obviously, um, but no, nah, it's been okay. Um, most days it's been sunny, so it's been quite good getting outside to do some training and just keeping sort of things ticking over. But um, hopefully, it's not got too much longer to go like this. So, what what does your day uh, entail at the moment? Because obviously, you can't go to the club, can you? You're in in, in France. You you all have to stay at home, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll all, all have to stay at home. <clears throat> um, I don't know. Most of the kind of I've got no real set time when I get up. I try and keep a routine, sort of Monday to Friday, doing some training every day, and then uh, weekend I'll just sort of chill and play PlayStation with my mates, watch Netflix, have I say have fun, but kind <laughs> of not much to do to have fun. Just now, um, when you're on your own. Uh, but now most days I'll kind of get up and have some food, go do a bit of running, and then uh, some sort of band sessions uh, in the house or in the garden. Um, which is fine, it's just try to keep things ticking over for when the season starts back up again. I think mainly for me, just kind of making sure I keep on top of my fitness and, and stay in good shape and any sort of niggles that I've had through the season, that's a, a good time to try and fix that. I've actually been cooking a bit more, it's just surprising for me, because usually I go out all the time, so I think it's given me more time to do uh, yeah, do cooking, which I wouldn't normally do. So it's been, yeah, it's, it's different, but I'm kind of doing new things, which is good fun. Actually cooking or like opening cans of beans, Finn? <laughs> no, I, actually cooking. I, uh, I'm kind of, I'll, I'll give my mum and dad a shout. How do you make this? How do you make that? They can give me a quick rundown of it. I'll go and do it and uh, okay. add a few things on myself maybe. So, no, my dad, he's a really good cook. So we kind of, we got brought up with him cooking. So I'm just kind of making, I suppose, rough sort of dishes that he would make or would have made when we were in the house. So I'm trying to do it myself from what I can remember him putting in and, and seeing how it turns out. I love the social media stuff, particularly from Simon Zebo when he's talking about you, you pair. He calls you white chocolate these days. Um, you seem to, you seem to have got very close, and I, I guess it really is a good example of, of just how it works in Racing ninety two. Um, two flair players just kind of getting each other, working well off the pitch, working well on the pitch. I mean, it, you're just having a good time there, aren't you? Yeah, I think it's. I think the first time I met you properly was the day I, I arrived over here. We're both staying in the same hotel. And he was out taking his kids for a walk, so um, we just met that night and had a quick chat. Then went to training together the next day. Uh, I think that it shows in the pitch the, the the connection we've got and the sort of fun we have together on the field. It's off the field as well. And uh, I've said it before. I think the the better relationship you've got off the field, it transforms on on to the field. Um, and I think, like you say, with Racing, we've got a great environment here, a great group of players. So. We have a great, great fun off the field, but when you're there to, to play, it's, you know, you're 100%, but you're having fun when you're doing it, which makes a, a big difference. Talk us through the nutmeg. We love it. Uh, well, from the up, we got advantage. I knew it was on to go wide. There was space in behind. We'd kind of noticed that during the week that there was uh, a bit of kick space in behind. I was actually trying to say to Zeebo, um, I was trying to say to Zeebs, look, get, get in behind, I'm going to put it through for us. Um, but I, don't, I don't think he heard me. Um, so, yeah, that's just kind of, Managed to get it through his legs and then we gathered it before going over. You meant to do it? Uh, I, I knew, I, I meant to put the kick through, yeah, yeah. But I, I, was, I was saying to Zeebs, like, <laughs> be like, follow in here because I'm, I'm going to kick it through for us. <laughs> so uh, It was a great moment yeah. to watch, it really was. It really was. And I guess a lot of, I, I, I guess just talking about Scotland for a moment, I got a lot of Scotland fans were, were disappointed they weren't going to see that in, in the Six Nations after whatever it was that happened um, with Scotland and yourself and, and and Gregor, um, uh, what, what's your take on all that now? You've had time to reflect on it, and you know it's been a, a little while has passed now. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Um, I've been chatting to Gregor the last couple of weeks. We've been texting about and just sort of chatting, it's not as player coach, just more as just having a chat. As you know, how are you getting on? What, how, what are you doing in isolation? What have you been up to? And, kind of discussions like that almost just like you'd speak to anyone which has been good um so yeah now we've been in contact we've been speaking a little bit over the last couple of weeks which has been been good um i suppose it's sort of different because we've never we've never spoken much before it's just kind of when you're coming into camp you have one meeting then go to uh, into the into camp so um no it's been fine and i think the stuff of the six nations it was it was i suppose um no, it's just, that's done now, and I'm, you know, 
I'm not looking at that and thinking, oh, we need to we need to look back on that that much. It's just how how can we move forward? How can we get better as a team? And and for me and Gregor, how can our relationship kind of grow? How can we move forward? So um, so you are talking. You're you you're friends. You're friends again. Then Finn, you're talking. And yeah, good. Yeah, so uh, there's a few. Yeah, it's, it's up and down, obviously during the Six Nations. Um, but I think, yeah, I think we both were both going to move forward and start um, progressing. Um, which is which is great. It's not like uh, I don't know. It's not. It wasn't a massive fault. It just I think things got blown out proportion a little bit. Um, which is you not know, happens. I suppose these days in media and whatever. But um, no, nah, it's it's fine. Like what like say what we're speaking. It's not like we. Uh, it was a massive disagreement with, well with me and him it wasn't I'm never playing for you again it's not like this or that it wasn't it was just I think it's got blown, blown out of proportion a little bit and hopefully you know if a summer tour goes ahead or, or if it doesn't I don't know um, but I think that, that's the target we've both kind of got is to to be both on the same page and working like working better together not not better than it is just now but better than it ever has been which would be good for us oh, that's amazing Sometimes in life you need that. You need a bit of conflict just to wash away some of the some of the dust and crack on. And it sounds like you're going to play for Scotland again, Finn. Yeah, it's the plans. Um, I think I think when I spoke to Gregor the week before the, the France game, I said to him then it's it's not going to be the right time for it to come back in just now. Um, and we'll we'll look for the next time, or we're working after Six Nations, and, and we're speaking about the tour and South Africa and New Zealand. So um, I think that's the uh, the plans that we can, you know. We'll build the relationship up as, as well as we can and hopefully it'll be a lot better than it, than it ever has been. So I'm sure it will be. Interesting looking at, at you know, what England do with their their midfield and their axis and having forward playing and Faz playing at 12. Do you think maybe there's a mm-hmm. there's a, a role in the team for, for yourself and Adam Hastings to play maybe a 10-12 combo, maybe two first receivers in there, play that kind of strategy? Yeah, we tried it before. I think it was the Argentina game last month. Last November, I think he was at ten and I was at twelve. Um, so so we have run that before, which is fine. It was, I think I first started playing at Glasgow at twelve, when I when I was younger. Um, so for me, it's fine just trying to help out. Um, Adam and trying to organise what's outside. Um, I think it would be something I'd have to get more used to as uh, being a ten. You're kind of used to organise everything, so. When I, when I was at 12 with Adam at 10, I was having to be cautious not to try and organise too much. As I've got to leave, leave it for him to do what he wants to do and what he wants to organise and control. And I'll just try and help him on things outside of that, whether it's organising the backs or the, the second group of forwards or <clears throat> or whatever. So, um, you know, there's a lot. If I was to play at 12, there'd be a lot that I would have to still still learn and adapt. What's really good for, for all rugby fans is that it really sounds like you have an appetite to play for Scotland again and you'll fit in wherever you've asked. It sounds like maybe lessons learned on both sides and, and you're moving on, which is really good news. Yeah, no, I, th- I think like you said, uh, a confrontation, although it's, I may have seemed disruptive at the time, I'm hoping that when we, when we move forward from this, it'll be, it'll be better for us, myself and Gregor especially, but I suppose it's, I so like to say how it is just now. Maybe got blown out, blown out of proportion a little bit, but I, I hope it's it's going to be a good thing in the in the long run. Um, I'm 27, so I've still got a few years ahead of me, hopefully. Um, and Craig, you know, he's a great coach. I, I can imagine him being there for a while longer. Um, so ho- hopefully uh, everything going forward, it should be good. And almost a bit of comfort that's you know these these things happen in a you know high pressure, uh, you know, high performance environment. So I'm not. I'm not holding grudges or anything. I'm just I'm looking forward to just getting back in and trying to trying to sort everything out and us uh, everyone moving forward. You know we need we need to we need everyone pulling in the right direction, which which uh, which I'm looking forward to, to being part of again. And maybe the prize of a Lions tour at the end of it. Oh, that's a long way away. That that's what <laughs> still like a year and a half. So it feels like it now. Yeah, it feels like a lifetime away at the moment, doesn't it? But... <laughs> no, there's a lot of rugby to go before before then. Um, you know, like I said, we've still got nine games this season at least with, with Racing, or maybe not just now, but we're meant to have had nine games left in the regular season, plus any playoffs. So um, a lot can happen in a in a year and a half. Um, so I'm, I'm not looking too far ahead into that. I just need to, to make sure I keep playing well, whether it's with Racing or, or with Scotland. And then uh, the rest, you know, the rest out with my control. So um, 
as long as I'm doing my job well over here in France and if I'm when I'm back to Scotland, hopefully when I'm back to Scotland, um then uh then yeah, then it's out of my control. All, all I can do is just play my best rugby with club and, and country and, and see what happens. Best of luck with everything, Finn, and, and look, we hope to see you out in the pitch soon and, and, and see you in a Scotland shirt again and hey, let's see what happens this season. But keep yourself safe, okay? And uh, and we'll be in touch. Take care of yourself. Great talking to you. See you too. Cheers.